Hello everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today, I am doing a post review of a custom picture that I had done from Crafties. So, initially, my, my first thoughts on this custom is, I do not understand why I have 36 colors. Um, the original of this picture I will put up over the screen. But as you can tell from the original, there's maybe 10 to 15 colors in it at most. And I wound up with 36 colors. Uh, there was a lot of color variation on the yellow on the outside. And then for some reason they had multiple colors of green and teal. And just some weird purples scattered through these sections here. Um, I, there's multiple shades of purple here, which are really weirdly placed to me that I don't that I don't care for. Uh, the massive white background mostly just comes from the fact that the focal point of the picture that I sent them was this, so they kind of centered it over the size that I ordered. And, but the massive white background it irritates me. <laughs> I hate color blocking, especially this amount. Um, overall, it wasn't a bad kit. For the size that it is, it's not bad. Um, you can definitely tell that all they did was plug it into a uh, pattern generating program and just immediately printed that. There was no hand correction for any of the minute details. Like right here, they could have corrected this to make it actually look closer to what it was in the original um the colors they could have corrected some and like removed a lot of these weird greens and multiple shades of purple that weren't needed um and also the main the main part that really bugged me is this teal green here was supposed to be a light blue sky green or sky blue and they turned it into a teal green and and uh, I just I don't like it. it 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 irritates me um overall the quality of the kit is not bad the canvas is not as soft as some of the major companies but that's not even a big deal it was very easy to work with it's easy to manipulate um really don't have any issues with the glue my main issues is with how it's obvious that they didn't do any type of touch up on the image and um, that the, the grid pattern that they use is much too big for their drills. You can see the massive amount of um, gapping that I have in the picture, especially in the white. So that that is my that is my main critique is that I feel like they need to fix the grid pattern. Um, there's a lot of gapping through the whole thing. It's a lot harder to tell in the colored sections because the colors kind of blend everything, but in the white, you can really see it. And this was me actively trying to reduce the gapping as much as possible. I eventually hit a point where I was like, fuck it. I don't care. I just want to be done with all this damn white. Um, so it, it's, um, I think that's a critique that I would give. Also, I had a lot of issues with different size drills. Uh, that was an issue that I was dealing with. I did have to sort through some drills sometimes. Um, I ran out of one color. Uh, these are the this is the colors that I had. Um, I wound up running out of this color right here, and I substituted it with a mixture of these two because they were very similar in shade. You can see I had more than enough white um, to finish the picture. I think they gave me double what I actually needed. Um, but overall, I did have enough colors to finish it. But I'm still trying to wrap my mind around why the hell it had 36 colors. Um, <laughs> it's definitely not one of my favorite finishes that I've done. It's not bad, but it's not my favorite. Um, my boyfriend, whose art this is, Dead Eye Jester, um, I will leave a link to his Instagram below. Uh, he said that it was okay. It could have been better, and he was looking at the different things I've pointed out, and he said, yeah, I don't know why they did that, and that, that 
teal is supposed to be a light blue. He said, but overall the picture completed isn't, isn't that bad. So it's semi got the approval of the, the original artist. Um, I, I think next, I don't know. I really think customs are a weird thing and I don't know if I want to do another custom again. Um, I don't even know if I would try any of the other companies to do a custom because from what I've heard, most of them don't actually go in and adjust anything. And if this is the type of rendering I can expect, I don't know if I'd want to do that. Uh, and really for this, the, the, the main thing they could have just done was go in and, and adjust the yellows to all be one shade of one or two shades of yellow instead of five. Make sure that these reds here were right and make sure that the red was around the edges like it was supposed to be. Make sure this was the light blue instead of this weird green. Uh, maybe adjust this a little bit. and I mean, it would have turned out so much better. It probably would have taken like 10 minutes of touch-ups and they could have... They could have they could have made it so much more better and so much more enjoyable. Uh, but this is my post review. Not not bad, especially for the size I got because I got the thirty by forty, so not bad. Um, but I feel like it definitely could have been better. Uh, the drill quality definitely could be better. The grid uh pattern could pa uh size could be better. So those are my critiques. I haven't done a Crafties um, official kit like a kit where they've where they've done the, the where they did everything. Uh, so I, I'm interested to see how that's going to compare to this. But if you do if you do like this picture, why don't you go ahead and look over on Jester's Instagram? Um, if you're in the Discord, you actually get kind of first sneak peeks. Of his art because he posts it in my discord all the time and uh, I will see you all in the next video thank you for watching and have a lovely afternoon evening morning whatever it is wherever you're at bye <laughs>